Hey y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about how to be an effective role player in a role play group. This is sort of a part two of the finding a right role play group for you video. So if you haven't watched that, I'm going to link it up in the card. I would recommend going and watching that first and then come back here. So at this point, you have successfully found a role play group that you like and you've joined it. Now, what do you do to make sure that you're going to have the best experience possible in that role play group? First, read the room. Check out the out of character section of the role play and get a feel for how everyone interacts. As they say, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. If it's chill, be chill. If it's exciting, be excited. It's important to understand how a role play group operates with its existing members. This is gonna really help you know if you're gonna get along with these people. And that brings me to my next point. There are many role plays out there. If it's not working out, it's okay to leave. So keep that in mind as we go through the rest of this stuff. There's no shame in letting a moderator know, hey, it's not working out and wish them the best, but you're going to leave. As a moderator, I would want people to stay in my role plays, not because they feel obligated, but because they're having fun. Speaking of that, would y'all like a video on how to say no or how to stop a role play or leave a role play group? If you're interested in that, let me know down below. I can make a video all about how to kind of gracefully leave role play situations. Okay, so we've got a feel for the group. We understand do as the Romans do. And this process never stops. You should be constantly assessing this as you're in the role play. But what next? Try your best to role play a little with everyone. Now, of course, if the group has like 50 plus people, that's kind of impossible. So modify that statement to fit the role play group that you've joined. The reason is when you first join a role play group, you don't really know who's newer like you, who's more of the old guard or who you're going to click with. And the way we find that out is by role playing a little with as many people as we possibly can in the group. I would strongly recommend if you have not watched my video on how to plot to do that because you're going to need to message people asking to plot or coming up with plot ideas. So I'll make sure that that's linked up in the card as well. So you've got some threads started, you felt the vibe. What about interacting with the mods? Well, since you felt the vibe, you're gonna know a little bit already how to do this. So we're gonna keep these tips very general. And of course, they're not gonna work for all mods, but these are gonna work for most. If you're unsure of something, ask. Most reasonable mods are going to want to clear up confusion with you, especially if you've already read all of the information that they provided, which you have because we talked about that in the last video. It's not a great time for a mod to realize someone's been in the role play for weeks and weeks and they still don't know something really basic about it. So ask, you're not gonna look dumb. Then after you ask and get that answer, take the answer. If the mod says go read something or reread something, go read it. If the mod says no, take the no. Remember, just because something isn't working for you doesn't mean it's not working for the role play as a whole and you'll understand this because you've read the room. Now, I'm not saying don't question the mods or don't argue with the mods. I think that's a really bad precedent to set. What I am saying is whatever your argument is, the mods have probably heard it before and have a way to deal with it. So before arguing with the mods, consider carefully what your argument is and if it's worth having or if it's better for you to leave that role play and find a new one. Remember, you're new. So you don't have a lot of context for what happened in the role play before you joined. So in other words, pick your battles. Another thing to consider for role play groups, unlike one on ones where you're normally just considering your character and your partner's character, you've got a whole swath of characters to consider. And if you've watched my other videos, you know, everyone wants their character to feel special. That means don't join a group and try to be the most extra. If it's important for you and your character to be the most badass, the most emo, the most whatever, ask yourself, why are you joining a group? You're not going to make friends by trying to one up people that have had their characters in the role play for months or weeks already. Now, because you've read the room, you're going to know what will impress others in this particular role play. And this is going to tell you a lot about if that role play is going to work out for you. Do the group's values generally match your values? And this is something that you should be assessing constantly when you're in a role play group. And it's going to tell you if ultimately you can fit in or not. 
Now, we said in last week's video you don't need to read a bunch of the actual roleplay threads in the group before you join, but now that you have joined, you should be reading current threads that you aren't involved in. Why? Because that's how you're going to understand what the other characters are doing and figure out how to involve your character in their plots. If you're only reading your own threads, you're going to have a very narrow view of the roleplay as a whole. And what that's going to mean is that you and your character are going to feel left out of the action because if you're not reading those other threads, you only are reading yours, then you're not going to know how to weave your character into those other plots. Also, it should go without saying, but we're going to say it because we're about learning here. We're not about assuming people know things, but remember your basic online etiquette. Don't spam. Don't say things that are overtly rude or bigoted. And remember that you're new and this group existed before you. That means they're unlikely to change to suit you specifically. What are some of the things that you guys do when you join a roleplay group to make sure that you're an effective player? Let me know down below. And remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click that bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.